Hi, I'm Solang, the designer and developer of Metagrid Pro, and today I'll be talking about latching switches and MIDI bidirectional communication in Metagrid Pro. I will show you how to make buttons that respond to MIDI messages incoming from your DAW. To demonstrate this, I will use our new Cubase selected channel and grid available for the premium users. For more information on this grid, watch the dedicated video tutorial. The grid reacts to the MIDI messages from Cubase. For example, each time I change the selected track in Cubase, Metagrid Pro updates the state of MIDI-enabled objects like faders and latching switches. Also, when I click the transport buttons like metronome, cycle, punch in and punch out, Metagrid Pro updates the states of the corresponding buttons. Now, let's have a look at the start-stop button to learn how to make a latching switch that responds to a MIDI message. In Cubase, I have added a dedicated generic remote device with all MIDI assignments for the selected track controllers used in the grid. The start-stop functionality is assigned to MIDI CC52 sent on channel 10 on Metasystem MIDI ports. The start-stop button has the macro assigned for both latch off and latch on states with a start-stop app specific command. The toggle on coming MIDI settings is on with a MIDI CC set to 52 and the value set to 0 for the latch off state and 127 for the latch on state. Please notice that when I switch between the latch off and latch on states in the edit mode, all the latching switches on the grid change their states. Nice to see the context, right? So each time when you click the start stop in Cubase, Cubase sends a dedicated MIDI message and Metagrid Pro updates the state of the corresponding controllers. The macro for this button includes the app specific action, but it can also be a MIDI CC action with corresponding values. Let's create a button that will control the metronome functionality in Cubase. This function is assigned to MIDI CC54 on channel 10. Now, let's change the button type to the latching switch. Let's create a macro with a MIDI CC action for the latch off state and set the values to CC54, value 127, and channel 10. Let's duplicate this macro for the Windows platform as well. Now, let's do the same for the latch on state, but this time we need to set the value to 0. Next, let's enable the toggle on incoming MIDI switch and set the corresponding values. The value for the latch off state should be set to 0 and the value for the latch on state should be set to 127. Now let's add an icon for both states and set the colors. Voila! Now our button enables and disables the metronome in Cubase and it reacts accordingly when I click the metronome button in Cubase. I hope that this short tutorial will help you create useful and responsive grids. Enjoy Metagrid Pro!